Hello boxing fans! Chris here from caboxing.co.uk Yep, it's Friday which can only mean one thing It's time for the weekly news report And of course this week The entire world of boxing is going bananas Over Kyber vs Lecheco And don't panic, I haven't forgot I will, I will get to that But I'm going to start the, this, this week's news report With a different story Canal Alvarez has been handed A 6 month ban from boxing For failing not one but two drug tests now you 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 may remember that that the the the, 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 the middleweight champ was set, was separate for a big rematch with the undisputed mid, mid, middleweight king Gennady Gen Golovkin in, in May. But unfortunately, that that fight had to be had to be postponed due, due to the fact that, that he failed a drug test. This is just one in, in a long line of, of drug scandals to hit asphalt in recently. But do, does the punishment really fit the crime? Is the question I'm asking. Okay, he's been banned for six months. So yeah, they, they, they've at least done something. They were just giving him a slap on the wrist and told him to, to stop being such a naughty boy. But six months is nothing. Six months is the standard layoff for, 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 for a boxer that's just had a fight. It's, a, it's hardly a punishment. I mean, when um, Tyson Fury fell into his drug test, it was like two, two years. Okay, so it wasn't a ban because they gave it off for some, because it, you know, he'd already been banned for two years. But that's beside the point. I don't think for, 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 for testing positive for two. For, Testing puts it on two drug tests, a six, a six month ban it is enough. But that's, that's just my opinion. Please comment, comment below and let, and let me know what you think about that one. In other news, <coughs> excuse me. In other news, Dylan White is said to return back to the O2 as early as June. In a, in a final eliminator for the, for the IBF title, which means that it, he will be fighting Puglia. Now, the the fight has been confirmed. The the venue is more or less confirmed, but the, the, the date isn't. But it will definitely be this summer. However, I think this is a bit unf unfair on, bo on both boxers, as Puglia is already ranked num n number one with the IBF after after his last win. You know, he was ranked number one before that. And and to them why he's he's definitely he's definitely right number no, 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 number one with the with the WBC after his big win over over, over Lucius Brown in March. If if you missed that fight, don't worry. It is on my YouTube on this channel. You you should be able to find it somewhere. So why oh why are they having a final eliminator for the up? For the IBF title, surely it would be better for the sport and better for both boxers if if Pugliev takes take on jo Joshua for the for the IBF title and Dillian White is made manager for for the Ante Wilder WBC title. Again, that's just my opinion, but looking at it purely from a five point view, it should definitely be a good one. Because I think I, I think their stuff their stuff will do well. They 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 both throw a big shot. They both like like to work like to work behind the jab. So it's definitely a, a fight I'm looking forward to. I just don't fully un, 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 understand the reasoning behind it. Looking look, looking towards the future, um, I, 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 Irish hope. Aaron McCain has has set himself as a a target of win of winning a, a, a world title by the time he's 21. The, the young Irishman made made his professional debut in December after after signing for, for, for Golden Boy Promotions and to, took his record to three, to three and, and O oh, after scoring after scoring a, a, a knockout victory in Ca in California the, this past weekend. In, in his personal interview and on social media, he has, has set himself the target of winning a, a world title by, by the age of 21. 
if you can do it, <laughs> great, and great as well. But that's going to be a big ask, especially with the division that he's in. Okay, now in a few weeks' time, we get to we get to see the fight we all want to see. But Bell you hate too, and the the, the undercard for that fight is is shaping up really well. With this fight being added. Lee Lee Thomas will be the will be defending his Commonwealth heavyweight title again against Joe Joyce on, on the undercard. Now you may remember that I that I, I reported to you that this fight could happen. Well, it's confirmed that it definitely is happening. Now, look, I think I may have said this before in, in other videos, but I think this would be a good fight. But I am slightly disappointed that. But Lee Rotovis didn't um, go for for a, 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 another fight w with David Allen after their the, after their second fight and in in a technical draw due, due to a cut to, uh, to Allen uh, Allen's head before the end, the, the end of, of, of the of the fourth round. Now whether he will look for a, a, another fight with Allen with Allen providing that, that he comes through. He's dressed on, on May the 5th, I don't know, but I, but I hope he does. In fact, I hope whoever wins out uh, of uh, Thomas and Joy does uh, offer Alan uh, another, another fight for, for, for the, the Commonwealth title. Also confirmed to be on, on that bill, but yes, his opponent hasn't been confirmed. It, it is young hope jo jo Joshua, Joshua Boatti. The, this will, this will be his third fight on a, on a pay per view, and of course his his third victory as he's got an undefeated record, so he would definitely be, be going for the hat trick. He, he is definitely a, fight, a fighter to keep an eye on. I think there's a slim chance of him, of him fighting for a world title by the end of the year, if not certainly a Brit, a British title or possibly a Commonwealth title. Okay, and it wouldn't be a weekly news report if I didn't mention these two at the moment. Eddie Hearn is, expect, is expected to go to New, New York next week to, to continue to with the with Deontay Wilder's team over a possible unification fight with, with Andy Joshua. Andy, Andy Joshua's team are, su are still awaiting a, a counter offer from, from, from Wilder's team after it was reported that the, 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 the WBC King rejected a, a, a 12 and a half million dollar, million dollar flat purse to, 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 to fight Joshua. You may remember that I brought, I, I brought the news to you last week that, that, he, that he turned the offer down and was ready to make a counter offer. According to Joshua's team, said counter offer has not been made yet, which is why Hearn is is flying to, to New York to continue ne negotiations. Now I don't mean to, to sound like a broken record, but I'm probably going to anyway. So I apologise now for for all for all of you who watch these li li these videos every week. Uh, thank you for that. But okay, it's going to be a big fight. There's no there's no ifs buts or maybe about that one. It's going to happen at some point. Again, there's no ifs buts or maybe's. But if the pay won the fight, just fight. It's not a mandatory. It's not a mandatory defense. So technically, and by the the, the, the the rules of boxing, it should be an 80-20 split in, in Joshua's favor. But because it, it's a unification fight, then fine. Just whatever the, the purse is, split it 50-50. Decide where it's going to be, and let's just get the fight on. As a fight fan, as well as someone who writes, and. Um, Makes makes these YouTube videos about boxing. I'm sick of all the talking surrounding this fight. If they want to fight, then fight. It's that simple. I understand that, that they've got to make money, but at the end of the day, give the fans what they want. Give, the, the fans want to see the best fight in the best at the minute in the heavyweight division. The best fight in the best is jo Joshua but, but, but versus Barla. So hopefully. Pretty soon, I will be able to bring you a date of venue. Well, at least that's a hope. 
Okay, as promised, I did say that I would come back to Khan versus Lagreca. And, and on that undercard, um, Olympic medalist Natasha Jones is aiming to win her first professional title. Uh, as she fights on the undercard for the, for the, w, for the WBA in, 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 in international title. Also, also on on the, on the undercard, you've got the big rematch between Sean, Sean Dodd and and Tommy Coyle, as well as Sam Eggington. Of course, I I have wrote a a, a fight night preview for this fight, and I'll put the link in in the, the description. But I tell you what, I have noticed the the whole boxing world is going bananas. Over the the car versus the gecko, nobody seems to be mentioning that. As well as that, at two a.m. on the other side of the pond in, in in New York at the Barclays Center, there is another, another big bill with there is, is a, 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 another big bill with. Including a, 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 a number of a, a, a big title fights with Adrian, with Adrian Brown head, headlining and like, and, and Javante Davis. Now, the, the Javante Davis fight is an interesting one. It will be interesting to see if he's overcome his, his weight issues from his last fight. As, as you may remember, in his last fight, he came in overweight, so couldn't actually win the title. Okay, he won, he won the fight, but that it then made the title vacant. So, that, so that's the interesting one. I am writing a fight, a fight no pre, pre, a fight no preview for that fight, and it will be up on my website on Saturday morning at eleven o'clock. So. Right, I think that you guys are all caught up with everything going on in the world of boxing. I will put the, the link for the Khan Legreco bill in the description below, as well as the blog post that I wrote on whether Amir King Khan can re to can reign again. Don't forget to to like, share, and, su and subscribe to, to this video. If you've got any comments, leave them in the comment section and I will do my best to get back to you. If you want to know any more about what's going on in, in the world of boxing, please check out my, my, my Facebook and Twitter accounts. The, the, the links, as, as always, are in the description. Or check, check out my website. Again, the, the, the links are in the description. If you are watching both fights this weekend, enjoy them. If not, like I said, re reviews will be up on my website and I will speak to you guys next week. Have a good one.